New York Giants post game week 15. Uh, I ain't really going to be too long with it, or I might be long with it. Who knows? I don't know how the video going to go, but uh, a loss to the New Orleans Saints today. Um, yeah, uh, 24-6. Nothing to really write home about, obviously, you know, just from the score. Um, it was a close game at halftime. It was 7-6 to six at halftime. And the game completely turned in the third quarter. Time of possession, I believe New Orleans had like had the ball like eleven minutes and some change in the third quarter, like something crazy like that. But more the same, you know, a lot of the shit that's plagued us over the year or the years um reared its head today. So it's really not not surprising. We've played well as of late, but we still had these lingering problems, which it's not surprising to see us play this way. Um, the offensive line, it's that the third quarter completely lost us the game. There's just no question about it. All the penalties, all the pressures. I think uh, DeVito got sacked like nine times uh, or something like that. It was close to nine. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't have the numbers in front of me or anything. But it was one of those days again. Obviously, Justin Pugh had a horrible day. Um well, but what can you do? These guys are off the streets, a makeshift O line. I know we we dealt with a lot of injuries this year, or well, even when they weren't injured, the O line wasn't good. So you can't even really use the injuries as an excuse. It's just kind of magnified now that we have all these reserves out there. It's just kind of crazy. But the defense was surprisingly kind of bad today. I don't know what was going on. We didn't really generate a lot of pressure. Kayvon Thibodeau, I don't think he really did much. Dexter Lawrence didn't do much, but obviously he gets double teamed like 90% of the time when he lines up. Um, secondary didn't play too well. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of crazy catches by New Orleans today too. Like guys laying out for passes, Derek Carr doing his thing. Um, it's just it was kind of this is an ugly game. It was a boring game too. I honestly not. It, that's you know the last few weeks we had games that were pretty entertaining, but today was just yeah. I mean, what can you say? Um, but uh, I don't think the coaching was too good either today. It's been mainly the uh, offensive play calling. And like I said, the defense was bad, but I mean, if you're on the field as much as they were, it's kind of hard to expect them to, to you know, step up and make all these stops, drive after drive after drive. It just gets kind of uh, it just gets kind of crazy. We can't sustain drives because the O-line is putting us behind the sticks. You know, I feel like we start first and 20 on every drive. If it, it, it damn near feels like that with the amount of penalties and and shit like that, you know, sacks and. You know, we did a lot of underneath passing today. We didn't really go over the top too much. Just kind of dink and dunk. It was a very conservative game plan as far as I was concerned on offense. It's not going to get it done. I, I would really like to see Mike Kafka gone in the offseason. If there's one coach on our on our uh, staff that I would like to see gone, it's Mike Kafka. I think Wink Martindale's done a decent job this year. He's had his ups and downs, but, you know, the defense hasn't been the main source of our problems this year. Special teams and offense has been horrible. So there's no mistake about it. Um uh what are we five and nine now? Like we easily could be, you know, we could we could easily have seven wins right now. We cost ourselves a couple games just doing dumb shit at the end of games, missing, you know, certain assignments, coaches not calling the right plays at the right times, not putting their guys in the position to succeed. It's just kind of more the same today. So uh, we got the Eagles coming up next week on Christmas. And that'll be a fucking Merry Christmas now, won't it? Getting smoked in uh, Lincoln Financial Field, it seems like. But my offer still stands, though. If Tommy DeVito beats the Eagles, because we never beat the Eagles. I meant what I said last week. If he beats the Eagles, I will buy a Tommy DeVito jersey. I promise you that, like. We we don't beat the Eagles, and if he does that, that's something I haven't seen. So, anyway, man, uh, what else from this game? Brian Dable just his normal coaching job for this year, subpar. Uh, not really, not really much to say. Saquon Barkley not really doing shit, but you know, every time 
we snap the ball and run. It's like he's getting hit in the backfield. So, I mean, you're as a running back, you know, you can make individual plays, but a lot of the times you're only as good as your O line in front of you. So, we got that. Um, I don't think we utilized Wandell Robinson enough today. He's been kind of the go to guy over the last few weeks, and he didn't touch the ball nearly enough. Darius Slayton is Darius Slayton up and down. Um, Jalen Hyatt really didn't get involved today. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to just go through all these guys. Uh, pause. Um, yeah, I mean, it's really nothing else to say about the game other than um, hopefully, you know, we're back in this uh, this draft positioning war thing now. So hopefully, we'll finish with a top five pick, and we can you know kind of rectify something on offense. It has to be an offensive pick for first pick, whether it's a quarterback or. Uh, o lineman or receive like, it has to be something that that's gonna make this offense you know generate at a higher level it's, it's just kind of it's kind of sad at this point to watch this shit like and it's not the court like I, I don't like like i said earlier in the year i don't like how people always constantly blame the quarterback it, this our problems are way way more steep than just replacing the quarterback it's just it's it's a it's a lot of shit that we have to fix and shore up so but we'll see, man, in the weeks and months to come. That is my post-game reaction for week 15. Giants lose to the New Orleans Saints 24-6. We'll, I will be back for another recap next week after we uh, play the Eagles. Hopefully we won't get drugged by too much. And that's it, man. Like, share, subscribe as always. Fly Free Sports, man. I am Fly Free CT signing off.